high call series. Well, so the next one is supply the missing letters in the following words. You can take help from the words given in the box. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six words are given there and they are not complete. They have got some blanks in that. Okay, so we need to fill the blanks and identify the word and drag and drop them in these places. Okay, so the first one is G O G dash T dash E R. T O G dash T H E R T O G E T H E R together. Yes, we have together here. We have together here. Yes. Second is a P dash L dash U dash I O N. P. Yeah. P O L L U G I O N. Pollution. Third one C dash L dash N Y. C dash L dash N Y colony, isn't it? C O L O N Y colony. C dash L dash B R dash T E. C E L E B R A T E. Celebrate. S dash dash A R dash square. S Q U A R E square. Dash dash e a dash c l e a n that is the only word remaining there also right okay so t o g e t h e r together p o l l u t i o n pollution c o l o n y colony c e l e b r i g e celebrate s q u a r e square c l e a n t e right. So now I will keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that you can just get, let's go through these words once again. Spell the word, spell each and every word and read it. Okay. Match the two parts of the sentences from uh, parts A and B to form complete sentences. So sentences are divided, half is given here, half is given here. In simple terms we can say subjects are given here, predicates are given here. Okay, we need to match the subject with the suitable predicate so that uh, the sentence will be a meaningful one. Okay, so an aeroplane. So what is here, which is related to aeroplane, moves around the sun. Does aeroplane move around the sun? No. Aeroplanes doesn't have a hum. Flies high in the air, isn't it? Yes. So an aeroplane flies high in the air. Right? Okay. A traffic policeman. A traffic policeman. Gather honey, no, grow wine, no, sell butter, no, has a hook to peak, no, controls the traffic, right? So, a traffic policeman controls the traffic. Third, the earth, yes, moves around the sun. The earth moves around the sun. The camel has a hump. The camel has a hump. Yes, the grocer, 
gather honey, no grow on wine, cells, butter, tea, and sugar. The grows up, cells, butter, tea, and sugar. Grapes grow on wines. Grapes, grapes grow on wine. The parrot has a hooked beak. The parrot has a hooked beak. Bees gather honey from flowers. Yes. Okay. So, an aeroplane flies high in the air. A traffic policeman controls the traffic. The earth moves around the sun. The camel has a hump. The grocer sells butter, tea and sugar. Grapes grow on wines. The parrot has a hooked beak. Bees gather honey from flowers. Right? So we have uh, completed the sentence formation by combining both the subjects with the relative uh, predicates. Right? Okay. Now, I'll keep this screen the same for another minute for you so that you can uh, yes, read the subjects, the predicates, and the complete sentences also. Okay. Vocabulary. So rearrange the following words to make proper sentences. Begin each sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop or a question mark. So we have seen some uh, words are there jumbled up, mixed up. We need to keep it in the order so that that can be a complete sentence. So when we write a sentence, it should have uh, two things we need to be careful. First one. The starting letter. In every sentence, the starting letter has to be capital and the end punctuation. Means the last and the end of the sentence. Usually, there will be a full stop. If it is a question, we will keep a question mark. If it is an exclamatory sentence, we will keep an exclamation mark. Right? So, we need to keep the capital letter in the beginning and ending either a full stop or a question mark. No exclamation mark will be here in this. Okay? So the first one, us let play. Uh, let us play. Let us play. See, capital letter in the beginning, full stop at the end. Right? Class I, class one, study we in. Mm, we study in class one, isn't it? Yes. We study in class one. So we, W is capital. And there is a full stop also, right? Now, third, is Divya sleeping? Is Divya sleeping? This can be in two ways. This sentence can be written in a two ways. Divya is sleeping, full stop, or is Divya sleeping, question mark, right? Yes. So, is Divya sleeping is a question. So, we put a question mark here or Divya is sleeping, full stop. Okay, so in the first sentence, is was the beginning of the sentence, so I was capital. In the second one, Divya, D is capital. Okay, now, so now, before we go to the next two or two sentences, 
We will read these sentences once again and uh, yes. Let us let play. Let us play. L is capital. There is a full stop. Class one study we in. We study in class one. W capital. Full stop. Is Divya sleeping? Is Divya sleeping is a question. So question mark. Is I is capital. Divya is sleeping. B capital. Full stop. Right? Okay. Now. Now. I will give the screen the same for another minute so that you get a oh, read these sentences once again. Fourth one, paints Warren a picture. Answer, Warren paints a picture. Warren paints a picture. We is capital at the beginning of the sentence. Warren is the name of a particular person. So obviously we will be capital. Then a full stop. Is this pen a new? Again, this can be done in two ways. Is this a new pen? Is this a new pen? It's a question, so we have a question mark here. Is I is capital. This is a new pen. T capital and full stop. Okay. So paints Warren a picture. Warren paints a picture full stop. Then is this pen new A? Is this a new pen? Question mark. This is a new pen full stop. Right? So I will keep the screen also in front of you for another minute so that you can read it. These two sentences also, okay? Write six words that begin with the tra, tr. Use the letters given in the circles to do so. Okay. So tr here in the center is a word, it is a beginning of the word, and these could be the end words. So we can say uh, tr y. Try is a word. Okay. Try is one word. We can say tr u a true. True is another word. We can say T R E E tree is another word. T R S E K track is another word. T R E N D trend is another one. T R I P trip another one. See all the words start with the T R and the uh, remaining letters are from the circles around it. T R Y try, T R U E true. G R E tree, G R S E K track, G R E N D trend, G R I P trick. Okay. So now I will keep this screen the same for another minute for you so that you can uh, yeah have a look at this once again. Read the spellings of the words carefully. 